Welcome to my studio. Today I thought we'd answer a wonderful question that we got from Casey about how much water to add to your colors. You probably know that the yellow comes in chunks and it's best to put the chunk in a small container and then cover it with water. Let it stand for two, three days, stirring it frequently with a toothpick. And then when it's completely dissolved, you would pour it into your dish. When you go to use the yellow, it's best to take about a quarter of a teaspoon of water and place it in the dish and the yellow will start dissolving again. When you want to pick up your color, scoop up some of that nice creamy yellow that you have. In a minute or two it would be even creamier. So you pick up that yellow and then you want to put that into your mixing dish and work from the yellow that's here, not here. The reason being that as you're painting, you could absentmindedly stick a dirty brush into the yellow and then it would be almost impossible to get it clean again. So some artists have solved this problem by having both a clean yellow and a dirty yellow, but I think it's a good idea to just be in the habit of keeping your yellow clean. Now, with all of your other colors uh, that are in dishes, such as your Elysian Crimson, you don't need to add any water. This is watercolor squeezed out from a tube and you merely take your wet brush, the tip of the brush, and pick up some of that dried paint. And then you go again to your mixing plate and blend it in. Always blend it in. And notice that I am not bending the brush more than a quarter of the way. Removing the excess moisture on the side of the dish, drying off your brush, and then you're good to go. What I suggest is that you have another piece of paper at your side. So when you pick up color, remember, always, don't go from the color to here because it's going to be way too strong. So again, you pick up that color and work it in and always work it in in a clean spot. So you work it in, remove the excess moisture, and then lightly dab your brush straight down on the towel. And if you have paper handy to test what's on your brush, you can do a quick test and not lose too much of the color you've built up. And then you're good to go again. All right, so with all of the colors that you use, your neutral tint. Uh, this is um, a purple that I like a lot, a sap green I have in a dish. The only other color that I would suggest you add water to before you begin is your vermilion. And here you can see I have quite a few vermilion chips mixed in with some uh, browns, different shades of brown. And the vermilion takes a little bit to soften and again, this is very strong. So I can see it hasn't softened yet. So you might want to begin the day by softening the vermilion with a little bit of water and then just letting it stand until you're ready to go. And I want to thank Casey for her wonderful question. And be sure to comment below if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this and if it was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.